there was a um, a question about invoices trouble adding a unit to an invoice is troublesome. The um, if it's a service invoice, I think one of the things you certainly want to do is is keep track of the items that you're servicing, and that's a critical piece of information for you ability to maintain your relationship with that customer. So if you accept that as a premise of the system, then certainly it's much easier now than it's ever been to add model numbers to invoices, if that answers your question, Josh. The other question that we have, I think, from Michael again, right now you can create, if you create a, a quotation, a quotation can easily be converted into a work order or an invoice. A work order can be converted into an invoice. So that's one of the things that's a little bit unique about Venture is that we allow movement through that process from the quotation, from the original customer record, then that customer is a lead, let's say from the front side of your website, then that that information is available. You don't have to enter it in when you go to quote them something. You quote them something, and you can modify that quote and turn it into a work order, modify that work order, turn it in or not, and turn it into an invoice, and, and the system works. The work flows through the system like that. Um, and that's been a feature for a while. That's not a new feature. Can I ask you a question about, before we get away, uh, somebody mentioned inventory control. Is there a, a report? Uh, say a truck restock, a sort a usage report for inventory uh, truck stock items. There, what you will see um, with this update will be a report that is items by user. So, and that will basically be a report of what a particular person or everyone used for items either yesterday or last week. And so that's the earliest version of what we envision as your ability to control what an individual is taking off their truck. So I think that will go a long way for you, Philip, on, the, on that requirement so that you'll be able to go in and let's say I'm out and I'm doing a couple jobs and I use eight or 10 things off my truck. That report will identify all those items so that A, it's a security thing, but probably more importantly is we know what items need to go back on the truck to keep its stock up, up to speed. There are things that we have in the pipeline, and it has something to do with this V price system that there will be actually a purchasing side to this. And when purchasing becomes available, then inventory control would become available. But that's not something we're trying to do with this release, but it's where we're headed. Yeah. We'll have basic reporting set up. Right. And then we're hoping we're hoping to move in that direction though, pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. that, that's where we want it. I mean, that's basically we're laying the foundation for all of that, you know, organization for items and inventory, all that type of stuff with this update. The um, the original venture was much more about um, the predefined items and sort of a free form uh, quotation and billing platform. What these updates give you is the ability to make the system more precise, more effectively pre-program and manage a, a much broader array of material. The other question, Michael, um, that you had is, and this is a fairly advanced feature which isn't available here, but we've talked a lot about is what Michael is um, has talked about with me before is is the ability to, let's say you do a proposal and the customer, um, and you make a recommendation that, you know, they change the vent pipe on the furnace because it's on its last legs, but the, but the furnace, but the guy says, I don't see any holes. I want to wait. And to be able to have the customer sign off on that piece of the work saying that they refuse to do it and go ahead and only change the fire matic. An ability to basically on a job where you're out there, you're doing service, you make a recommendation and the customer refuses that recommendation to, to retain it and to have it pop back up next time you interact with that customer. Um, I think that's a great feature. It's not a part of this release. Do, what do you guys think? Do you think that would be a helpful feature going forward? I, some of you, maybe not. I know some of you guys are more installation oriented, 
but for the guys that are really service oriented and now making recommendations about updates or, or maintenance to systems that have some safety aspects to them, it's a, I think it's a pretty good idea. No, it would come up as part of the guy's history. And maybe if it, uh, if it was a decline service, probably draw a, some serious attention to it as opposed to it just being another history item. We'll put that on our wish list. I, I like the idea. I, I would be interesting to see how often it gets used, but it's a great, it'd be a good feature. I'm going to go back to our tools section here as we're down to not many minutes left. So you can see here, and this, when the system turns over tomorrow night, this um, quick quote items is the same thing as predefined items manager. But we're trying to define with the, with the terminology here that a quick quote item is an item that, that uh, has things like bullet points and talks about the different things that you're going to do on this furnace quote or this boiler quote or this scheduled annual 15 point check. Um, those types of things are what's stored here. And you can manage this information and price it or not. Uh, this isn't new, but it is built to work with the system and it's now being called quick quote items right there. Managing contracts and reminders. That's a topic for, I think, another day. But this system has a reminder system and a, and a good reminder system. There are some updates that we're going to be doing to it in the next six weeks or so. Some of you guys use it really effectively and some of you don't, but for every customer, when you're out servicing a piece of equipment, you have the opportunity to set up a reminder so that they will service their equipment again in six months or a year and target it during a shoulder season, perhaps, and perhaps tar uh, target it toward a particular offer. That managing that information is here. Um, the other thing that we're bringing in is managing billing items or terms. And this is where you can add as many terms as you guys want. So you can have terms that are as simple as due upon receipt to as elaborate as this one is. So it's talking about asbestos abatement and permits and what happens if you don't pay your bill and all that kind of stuff. So you can get as creative with terms as you want. And that is now, it was pretty well hidden in the past, um, but it will now be available in that tools field. By the way, any, this, this whole area is admin only. So nobody that's not an admin in your organization will even be able to see any of this stuff. And I think that's pretty important. <laughs>